mental, the mental of each of their opponents. Best of fives are out the window. It's time to strap in. We're finally about to get a taste of some upper bracket action. I'm James Bott down here right next to the main stage with Corelli and Achieves, and we've got a bird's eye view of the action. It's gonna be a best of seven between Carmine Corm and version one. The upper bracket, upper semifinals here, not here by a fluke. They went through G2, they went through Moist. Both these teams have taken down big boys here at the Landon Major. And a lot of interesting things on the line for both teams. You feel like all it takes is a little spark for both of them to get going. Perhaps the other one to shut down. So big race for me personally about the first goal. All eyes on beast mode. One of the most talented players, a silent assassin. He's been doing work, but K Corp, the reverse sweep of G2. Do they have more tricks up their sleeve? Right now we're seeing Com try to force that ball downfield. Beast mode will get beat to the ball by Itachi. Slow play so far. Both teams poised to strike. We know how long a best of seven can be. You can see a couple of the challenges coming out. Very conservative start, but Torment wants to take to the sky. It'll be Nolly to clear it away. Version one, looking for their space, and they're going to get it. Beast mode, dangerous from that position, but Astral to shut him down. And just initially, it feels like there's a lot of space for K-Corp to operate. You do have to be a little careful if you're version one. Don't want to give Astral, or anybody for that matter, too much space. Now there's Beast mode winning the ball over to Torment. Com waiting for his chance. Beast mode oh. also there, but not able to make the play. Now diving in. A tip from Astral. And Com a bit too far up. Low boost for Astral. Does get the boost deal, but it's oh. demoed. And that's going to relieve pressure for version one. That's a great demo there from Beast mode. Astral taking away that boost, but then eliminating Astral makes it a moot point. But Astral again. Wants a little bit of space here. And version one kind of scrambling to get about it. Bump came through, and Carmine Koi finally getting some offense here in game one. And you're seeing version one stacked up on their own backboard. Beast mode, the one to stretch his legs. Now Itachi on the 50, calm, patient. Late flip towards net, going for the 50. Nolly, such composure, driving off the ceiling, taking that space. Well oh. done by Nolly, he's oh. still going. Everybody on Carmine Corp really bunched up there in the midfield. Yeah, it feels good to start the counterattack that way, but you soon realize run out of options quite quickly as Beast Mode going to be turned aside by Itachi. Tom trying to slow it down once more. Nolly challenged by Torment, gets a piece of it. Now Itachi beat to the ball by Beast Mode. Torment deep in the corner. Two go for K Corp. Ball high into the midfield. Tom off the ceiling, uh -oh. doesn't have boost to play. Beast uh -oh. Mode double tap! And he opens the score sheet for version one. And you can't let him have a look like that. He comes into this game shooting 47%, and he's putting one away here in the first three minutes. Version one, up by one. And you saw it for Carmine Corp. Atachi definitely realizing he was going to be a little bit late to that one. Saw him turn off as we get the pause going, but definitely a nice opener for V1. We'll see what uh, what's going to happen with that or whether or not it'll stand. Probably in my head, I can't see any reason it would well, I mean, we're, we're still <laughs> waiting to hear what the cause of the pause is, but one thing that I do know is that double tap looked pretty clean for version one and beast mode, and it's been a, a bit of a, a slow back and forth. You saw Calm taking his time, the patient touches. Yeah. Great defense from Nolly. Yep. And, and they're still trying to figure out that space. So I, it looked like, I was mentioning it right in the beginning of the game, it felt like a very you know slow effort, both teams trying to find the challenges and winning it. But I feel like for version one, when that space opened up, especially above the box, that's when they're most dangerous. And we see that from Beast Mode. You can not let him have that space. And we just got confirmation it was a minor tech issue. That goal will stand. So we'll get back to kickoff and get this game going. 2.17 left on the clock. Beast Mode's double tap, the only goal of the game so far. K Corp gonna have to battle from behind, but you have to remember this is a best of seven. We've been seeing best of fives all day, mm -hmm. but the journey's a little bit longer. You see is. a lot going for K Corp in that defensive structure as well. You really needed Nolly. Uh, like you said, he's been playing good defense, but in that exact scenario, definitely caught out a little bit, thinking Itachi was gonna be able to get out there for a block. So, bit of a hiccup, tough start to give up the first goal in that particular manner for K Corp. We'll see how they bounce back here as we get back underway. Beastmo trying to make a play, gets a demo. Calm also, double demo. Short power play for version one. Another pass down from Calm, playing keep away. K Corp certainly on their back wheels. 
Again, version one showing up with that pace, showing up with that speed. A lot of people have touted beast mode. One of the best players in the world, and for good reason. Putting away that first goal only proves that again here against a very hot case. Wow, wad, and they get a good shot there, but a huge save by Beast Mode. And Beast Mode also picking up the corner boost, but K Corp are not done yet. Torment slowing things down. A challenge from Itachi, another shot opportunity. Beast Mode there again. Wow, gotta love Nolly's ability to just recognize he had to get up for that one. It's so easy to take the passive line back right there. Let them push it as Torment needs a double tap and a little help from Beast Mode off the bar should be cleared for K-Corp. Com, did he get the flip? He did. We'll get closer to that ball, low boost, but still staying in the play. Another challenge. Version one, a smothering attack so far. Com, pinch across, Astral handles it. Trying to collect the ball, Itachi cheated up too far. And now K-Corp have to recollect themselves. Shot oh. down, double tap off the ground, but it's no good. Beast Mode will get there for the follow-up challenge. Most dangerous look there from Astral so far here in game one. That double tap off the ground could have paid off. KC not given a lot of offense here against version one. It really has been V1 smothering them on offense. As again, another ball just thrown to the version one side, but KC can't find their players downfield. It really they is. They nice have to had see. chances though at Chiefs. Absolutely. It's been overall a pretty decent push from K Corp. And early on, I was worried about version one. Felt like there was a lot of space given over to K Corp. That's definitely been tightened up quite nicely here throughout the course of game one. A nice stint of offense here for K Corp, but we're still waiting for that threatening shot. Nolly keeping possession, double tap pass, calm there for the challenge, oh, uh, finding its way out to Astral, but again, version one there, that demo, will that open up some space? Beast mode, flip reset, trying to hover past the ball. Final seconds now, at zero seconds, can oh, K-Court keep it up? We're gonna keep it up. Calm will hit it down, and version one secure the win in game one. And that's good work there from version one. They got the first goal, they got Beast Mode going as well. I, I heard a couple of KC players talking about, you know, if you can shut down Beast Mode, version one, they don't have a lot to offer. But I gotta say, Beast Mode was up and down the field for version one, both obviously offensively putting away that first goal, but also defensively. We called his name three times in a row, yeah. making a save on the goal line. Streaking across, making that save. Also, that double tap was a thing of beauty, yeah. but we, we saw so much early version one pressure, a lot of it coming from the intelligent, Patience from version one, slowing it down when they needed to, and there's that double tap. You can see oh, Beast Mode getting hyped. <laughs> you gotta wonder, I, I like this particular opportunity. Really great passing and vision and understanding from K-Corp, how they can find a way through that version one defense, but like you said, the defense really nice and solid for version one throughout game one. Good adjustments as well, so we'll see if that continues going forward. And, and demos also playing a factor in that. You saw five demos in favor of version one. V1, especially Calm, a player that loves yeah. to go for demos. And sometimes when you can't talk the trash, sometimes the best thing to do <laughs> is just go for the demo. And so that has worked well for version one in game one. And, and it stunts the offense and defense for KC as well, taking away players both to get back on rotation, but also attack downfield. And that's really where that the beauty of the demolition game comes out. And why version one, I think, has so much, uh, has gone so far in some of these tournaments because of the demo game. Shut out in game one. We'll see what K Corp can bring in game two. Already early pressure. Torment looking for a bump. Uh oh. And there's the 50 on the goal line by Kong. Gotta wonder if they actually made contact. It was pretty close. Definitely hotly contested. Torment, right idea going for the demo. And I think Itachi just couldn't quite figure out the right way to flip. I don't think he actually hit that ball. Version one just went right through him. It's kind of a head uh, scratcher, too, because version one, I mean, they've been extremely aggressive and KC I think has to be a little bit more safe defensively. There's been a lot of plays for version one that just had extra two touches behind the ball and KC just hasn't been able to catch up to the play and kind of get their men behind it. Strong start for V1. K Corp still looking for that first goal. We'll see if they find it soon. Astral. Nolly was already airborne. We'll get a touch. Itachi with the follow-up. Double tap pass, no it leaves it for Nolly, and it bounces in. K Corp on the board. And you can see KC finally breaking through, and that's the speed coming out from Itachi and Torment. He was thrown off. He didn't know Itachi was going to get the second touch, but it came back out to Nolly, and he puts it away. And, and really, that play, Nolly pre jumped on that play to kick 
start that drive, didn't get the strongest touch, but kept possession, and that allowed Itachi to get that pass out to the middle. So K Corp respond. See if they can keep that momentum going, or if B1 will bounce back. Nolly, high pop. Whoa. B Simone booming it downfield. Astral. You see Calm there in the same spot. Got the mid boost, but let Beastmo take that challenge. Still some good work here from version one. A lot of these balls coming out of the backboard. Version one hunting for that gap on the KC side, and it could come here. Calm looking for a second touch. Huge save on the goal line from Astral, and version one turned away. Torment has options. Beast mode on the ceiling. Torment put it right on his bumper. I am really liking K-Corp trying to slow the game down a little bit here. You got a little bit worried with that miscommunication on the defense and making sure that, okay, let's take a second here, really set our feet before we start going forward because can't afford a mishap like that too often. Demanding defense required now for V1. K-Corp showing much more offensive pressure. Calm, tip off the backboard. Itachi has an infield option, goes for the double tap pass, but it's well defended. Yeah, you can kind of see it from the angle there. Itachi had options, and maybe here, an option for Astral. Another save comes out from Torment, but it feels like Carmine Corp kind of heating up here on offense as Itachi can't get the touch. Nolly, neither of them can get the touch. And still version one struggling to get this one out. It's still going to KC players as they're trying to attack again. Oh, and Itachi, if he could pop that over Torment, maybe a dribble positioning play would have worked out. But still, V1 holding on. Midair demo. Off the ceiling, shot opportunity, oh. saved from Nolly. Huge play from Nolly, considering Kekor pretty much hung out to dry right there. and Also quite a welcome clear. Awkward defensive position for Torment. Backwards, but handled it well. Now on the counterattack, Calm. Shut down by Astral, defending the backboard, who clears it down for Itachi to chase. Calm the tip to K Corp's corner. Not only a third of a tank to work with, use up all his boost to get this yep. clear. Feels like KC really starting to reel in. Version 1, they're not having as much freedom as they did earlier in Game 1. I think Version 1 has to get a little bit more creative if they want to break through the midfield of KC, because right now, Tachi, he's been really slowing things down and keeping that attack on for Carmine Corp. The dust has seemed to settle as of late, but any moment it can kick oh back my. up, and now a chance for Calm, and he rears off the ball, lets Itachi take over. A demo from behind, beast mode, trying to slow down the attack. It's high over Nolly's head. Itachi will be there after the respawn. Another big boom. Nolly Airborne flip reset. Oh. The tip from beast mode will make sure it's not on target. Version 1 quite close to getting a lot of these demos through the back line. Oh. Pass to Torment just a little too far off the nose. It will stay tied at 1, but version 1 doesn't feel too far off the mark of opening a big gap in the rotation of K-Corp. That's definitely something they've done a nice job to evade so far, but you get worried as time goes on because might just not see him coming one of these times. Be smoke, belly flop, flip reset, gets the bump. Calm with the challenge. You can see him lingering, finally deciding to rotate out. Torment comes in, Nolly, a hit. Torment cuts off the pass. Oh. Astral Force to stretch for the save. Mistakes coming out from Carmen Corp's defense. Version one just couldn't get a good shot on target. And now the final 30 seconds. Carmen Corp wants to threaten. They've been threatening all game to take the lead. Version one's defense has stood tall. Light touch, that gives time for Beast Mode to come challenge, but a pinch goes Whoa. back. Torment able to save it, but it sets up a play for Itachi. Astral trying to get the boost field, but it looked like Beast Mode got it. Now, Torment, will he decide to keep it up? No, he'll hit it down, and we've got overtime on Aquadome. And I don't blame version one for trying to keep that one down. It seems like KC's been threatening. Nolly wants a shot on target. Oh. It's turned away. And Carmine Corp threatening first. And that wasn't a hard shot, but it was still difficult for the defense to deal with. Calm getting bumped off the ball. Back to Astral. A lob. Beast mode. We'll touch it and control it on the backboard. Going for the 50. Nolly faked it. Let Astral take over on the play. Pitch down off the ceiling. 
Now it's tipped back. Itachi, a nice controlled touch, but he gets 50 by Torment. That's again really what I've been enjoying about K Corp. If they've got the space, they're trying to take it. They know that the strength of their push relies on their ability to create options. That ball control has been critical in that fashion. And there seems to be way more options for K Corp as of late. V1. Forced to play quite a bit of defense. Nolly, tip off the ceiling, Itachi oh, the going for the bump. Torment dodged it, but will he make the save? Over. Off the backboard, Torment with the 50, and now wow. on the other end, the fake. Pulling it through. If that's not experience, I don't know what is. Torment poised on the goal line, knowing that the demo was coming. Fake challenge to get out of that position. So smart from Torment to keep V1 in this. That's a nice bounce back to the middle. They've been threatening all of game two since they gave up their first goal. And Carmine Corp, they deserve the second one here. Oh, dude, they're really starting to get in a rhythm. You can tell early on, version one, strong offensive presence. They were keeping the ball in K Corp's half, calm, able to take some slow challenges at the midfield in the corners. But since then, K Corp has really had a handle on this match. Yeah, really nice game from K Corp in general, across the board. Again, watching it from the auto cam perspective, you see a lot of version one really trying to get way out in front of a play, willing to try and take a lot of risk, open up space, and K Corp really just doing a nice job avoiding a lot of those physical opportunities and making sure that they were able to come down with touches, buy themselves a little extra time, and really make decent pushes. And despite how well Torment played, making a couple good stops, can't keep them all out. 12 shots coming out from Carmen Corp, forcing nine saves out of version one. That really does kind of paint a picture of how Carmine Corp put on the pressure of version one. And let's not get it wrong here. Version one definitely had some pressure against KC, but it, game two, you take it as a whole, KC, they were putting it on version one, and yeah. they put away the second goal after threatening for so long. And, and also, it's still demos heavily in favor of version one, but this time, K Corp was able to work their way around it, see the adjustments coming out. And these two teams, both of these teams, really the, the one word that I think of when I think of both of these teams is ascendance. They've both been on such a rise. For V1, it's been a slow and steady burn, but K Corp finally starting to reach the heights that so many people expected them to reach. And can they keep that going with a victory here against version one? Will version one finally be able to break into the top six at an international event? Oh my, again, threatening off the bat here is KC. Itachi wants another touch, not gonna find it. Now Beast Mode with space, threatening the KC side and he's forced to go to the right. Oh, what a bounce, oh goodness. <laughs> Everybody on a Karmi Corp just like, hang on, we, we gotta handle this one real quick. B1, still playing defense. Seems like it's a carryover a game two. Astral. Slowing down the attack. Calm, happy to control it. Torment, good speed. Astral a pinch out, low on boost. There's a demo from Itachi. And with the low boost rotation out, that was perfectly timed demo for K Corp. And version one forced to make some tough clears. Now pinching it off two players to push this one downfield. Carmen Corp really have figured out this version one midfield and their defensive side. It's been very tough for version one to move down the field with possession and boost. Does feel pretty close to over aggressive for Carmi Corp. Sometimes looking like they're going for challenges that they're definitely beat to, but they're willing to try and take that risk because they get that big block. Certainly not wrong. Version one going to be caught in a world of hurt as Astral not able to connect with any demos and Itachi is going to manage the ball here. Torment slowing things down, beckoning the challenge. The clear attempt slowed down by Astral Itachi there as well. Beast mode with some good speed. There's the oh, demo. It's, just in. it's exactly. just in after the demo at the midfield. That's what I'm talking about there. Just a little over aggressive. You can see there's two people forward, and you can see Nolly going for that. He's never going to reach it. Oh. So it just bounces right off the side wall. That demo comes just, through, and be, then no one's back. He got a piece of it. But he did get a piece. It ricocheted off the wall into his own net. And you, you pointed out, Chiefs, you're absolutely right. For all the good that the pressure's uh, giving to Carmen Corp, it, it, they are riding that line, and it's yeah. very, very thin when version one can turn it around on you like that. V1 
Back on top, like they were in game one. K-Corp trying to fight back, prevent the shutout. There's a bump wow. on Itachi. Astral streaking in. We'll roll it up the V1 corner. Beast mode with some time. The bounce down, well read by Nolly. Oh. And Itachi pass off the corner, but Calm not fooled by it. Gorgeous read from Calm off that corner bounce. I mean, monster clear. Puts version one on equal footing in the midfield line. Or does it? Okay, oh. Torment's all the way back, and he will make the clear out into the corner. Astral going for the challenge. Two go for V1. Itachi, nice speed. But Calm again with a quality challenge. That will buy tons of time for V1. And now Beast Mode solo play. Uh -oh. There's a demo. But Nolly up so fast to shut it down. And that's what you got to do to shut down Beast Mode. You have to get up quick. You have to get into the before he gets that flip reset. Otherwise, it's going to be tough to defend. Oh. Now the pass, and Astral can't connect. Nolly setting his teammates up. And Astral did his best to get there. Version 1, though, able to get out. Huge pre-jump from Astro, trying to just get out in front of the defense and catch him by surprise with a quick shot. Not a bad idea when you need one. Especially when you give it to a guy like Astro, who can feel like read the world with his eyes closed. Oh, and almost able to get a shot off there. We're starting to see K-Corp set up their attack. Itachi flipping into the ball, going for the 50. Right to Astral and Calm in the right spot. Nolly blocked by Calm. Astro can't get around the ball. Two back-to-back -back chances shut down by Calm. Version one so boost starved. Everyone's got to go back to the net. It's just Calm with full boost. It's still Karmic oh. Corpse oh. Everyone has to dive at it. Version one somehow. <laughs> Don't give up another. V1. A defensive spectacle. Now a double tap. The what? Bump. It playing pinball on the goal line. Beast mode will get it for V1. You just can't get rid of them. So frustrating if you're K-Corp. Oh, man. Huge drive, and then the, the one counterattack by the other way, you're so close. And then you give up an insurance goal with a minute left. <laughs> that one stings. I mean, this game should be tied. Yeah. It's calm back-to-back -back saves. I surely thought K-Corp was getting one there. But now, down by two, less than a oh, minute left. There it is. Yep. They get one there back, they will. Astral bringing K-Corp back within striking distance. And it was only a matter of time. This setup, we've seen this three, four times here in game three. Astral on the receiving end of the pass as well. Finally connecting in version one, broken down enough that there's just no one on the goal line to make the save. Com was so ready for Beast Mode to come up with that read out of the corner, just pushing. Gave one back and not all hope lost for K-Corp. 45 seconds seems like an eternity when it's these guys pushing at you. Astral, low boost, well, no boost. Was trying to get that ball pushed downfield. We'll have to streak back. Turns. Supported by Nolly. Nolly has it hit around him. Torment, a nice hit, but he's Ooh. running on fumes as well. And see how close Torment's trying to play the ball even on zero boost. That's how tight this game wow. is. Another one lobbed to the K Corp side. Version one holding on to their lead. Seven seconds left. The crowd counting it down. And K-Corp trying to threaten one more time. Bouncing off the corners. Beast mode will get one hit. There's a bump on Nolly. <laughs> and the 50 oh. Astral doing his best to keep it up. But Beast mode being a bully prevented that from being the case. Couple of really nice reads from Beast mode too in that final minute. Definitely K-Corp giving it their best look, trying to throw as many misdirections, little cheeky touches, make flips back onto the floor, and Beast Mode just wouldn't let anything through, through for free. Great show for version one to close that one out. That was tight. And I think version one did a much better job of just taking advantage of the space. Chiefs, you pointed it out earlier, but that space where K-Corp just pushes a little bit too far, they're able to kind of flip it on their head and go back the other way on the counter. And it's not like it's a bad approach from K-Corp. Like, it's, it, it, being that aggressive is no bad thing. It simply is. It's a risk that you incur when you're willing to try and be that aggressive, because it has a lot of good benefits. It results in generally a lot of good pressure, really making the defense make some tough stops. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Version one handled everything quite nicely here. That one counterattack really got him out in front. And it honestly is the only reason they won the game. They had to stand tall there. Certainly, and also, you know, I said version one 
wants to be top six. They are top six. What I meant to say was that they want to break through yes. because we talked about it, Corelli, last time in LA. They made it in front of the crowd. They made it to this point and then they dropped yes. out two series in a row. And, and a lot of people didn't even believe that they could get that far at the Winter Major. And now they've done it again in a row here at London. And it's still a very long road. Again, a best of seven in K-Corp. They have made it very tough for version one to pull out these wins. And I'm curious if K-Corp changes the pace of play. Because I, I actually think their approach is a good one. It puts a lot of pressure on version one. But I wonder if now that they're down two and they know that if they lose another one, they're on match Whoa. point, they may try what? and make a different approach oh! as Astral is going to collect the first one. A little bit of question marks on yeah. the version one defense side. Definitely here. some question marks there, but K Corp happy to take advantage. Version one just sending too many players, kind of running into each other, flying into the corner. And K Corp, that pressure will finally lead to the mistakes. And they get one here first. Yeah, a bad miscommunication, perhaps nerves. Torment still almost stopping it. But K Corp will take that one. Hit back to the corner. Itachi down to Nolly. Nolly. He was hunting for that second touch, but Torment wow. preventing it. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so me. good. Astral, you legend. What a read this is. He is so forward, and he is able to understand oh, the trajectory <laughs> back to the midfield perfectly, so he kicks it off the wall out to the middle. Everyone on version one is like, what? He's that precise? Oh. And this is where K Corp is comfortable. When they make something out of nothing like that, that's what's been so special about them here so far at this spring major. They've been so hot. Everything has been working for them. Connecting, finding each other, especially off the wall like Astral just did. Version 1 just have no answer. That took such perfect execution to be able to do that. And Astral, you know, he made his name off perfect execution and mechanics when uh -oh. he first busted onto the scene under Dignitas, experienced a lot of success, and now trying to build back to that glory, and what a way to do it. Astral will snag the corner boost as well as getting that clear. Starting Nolly. to become a boost goblin. He's ready to strive all the way around the pitch and make sure version one doesn't have anything for free if he can help it. The boost has seemed to be in favor of K Corp as of late. Calm, dribble up the wall. Plenty of boost to work with. Calm, blocked by Astral. You saw Itachi also waiting on the backboard. Nice defense. Astral and Itachi working together to get this ball out quickly. And unthreatened there from K Corp. And, and with a threatening setup there from Calm, now they're setting each other up. Astral, another shot. He's really been the point man for K Corp to pass across the box in front of version one. And he's done a great job of being threatening so far. And two go again for V1. V1 trying to find their feet. There's a demo from behind. Calm taken out. On the respawn, Torment will take it. Nolly, and now Calm. Nice boost steal from Torment in the corner. This could be V1's best attack chance of the game, but Nolly will get up quick. Beast mode nowhere to be found. Finally coming in for the challenge, but Astral there. Nolly going for the 50, oh, trying to force it through. Couldn't get the job done, but still melting precious time off the clock for V1. And even with K Corp trying to force that, they had options across the box there. Setting each other up, giving each other options. And version one, it's really been a solo effort towards the K Corp side. It really yeah. hasn't been a lot of passing coming out for them. It's just taking it at them and trying to take on the whole team. Astral, great control. Running on small pads, finally bailing out. Nolly, flip reset. Wave dash couldn't get there. So much confidence from Nolly. He's been pre-jumping. He's been up early. He's been disrupting the first touches of V1. He's been a key player in this comeback wow. from K Corp. K Corp's out here playing keep away with the ball if they can help it. Anytime it's coming around, first instinct is just take it away from whoever's trying to challenge you. Doesn't matter if you lose the next one. It's pure clock control at the moment. Itachi. The 50 to go. K Corp, though, still handling the pressure nicely. Itachi upfield. He has been so good at being that outlet at the midfield to keep K Corp in possession. There's a demo. Another demo attempted, oh. but Itachi squirms his way out. 
and we'll get that 50. K-Corp said, coming into this matchup, you got to shut down Beast Mode, and we have not called his name here in game four. I think that goes to show with the demo game and the boost stealing. It's been very tough for anyone on Virtual 1 to kind of get their individual play style going. You're not seeing a lot of comp demos. In Virtual 1, they haven't had a lot to show here for their offense. Well, we see some here in these final moments. Beast Mode. Uh-oh, hold on. Beast hold on. Mode! Oh. Rebound is cleared to the corner by Itachi, but what an effort from Beast Mode. Huge block from Astral off the rip as well. I mean... Three-man effort on the K-Corp defensive side, refusing to let version one back into the game, slamming the door shut with 20 seconds. And that one seemed like it had to go in for V1. Final moments ticking away. An excellent save. And you can see how quickly two goal leads can evaporate. K-Corp not taking any chances. And K-Corp gonna be tying up the series. Two games apiece. The pressure from K Corp has been unrelenting, even when they've lost. They didn't have to change anything. Nothing's what? changed for K Corp. They just kept chipping away at version one. Well, I mean, they, we've seen a lot more demos from them, that's for sure, especially <laughs> on the rotation back. We saw the one play com getting demoed at the midfield. That opened up so much of the field. Itachi, a key player at the midfield, but we're seeing it all from K Corp. The defensive stops, offensive plays. They're a complete package right now, and they have stopped V1 in their tracks. And the, the complete shift of, of the idea, because they came out, they got two goals so quick. I mean, it was the initial first miss, and then Astro makes this beautiful read at the midfield that puts them up two with a about, I think it was like around three minutes on the clock or something like that. Not even. Four and a half or so, 420. And, and, and then that from that point on, K-Corp really just kind of sat towards the midfield, put the pressure when they needed. But anytime version one brought that ball into their corner, they did such a nice job of not giving it right back to version one to allow the pressure to build. It's like, okay. If you want to beat us, you're going to have to come through. You're going to have to get physical. You're going to have to try and make one play to outplay us. The problem is, is when you got people as strong as Astro, <laughs> yeah. Nali, and Itachi on defense, outplaying is not an option. It's, yeah, it's, it's not it's a not, thing. It's quite difficult. I mean, you saw the stacked defense on the backboard, but even that touch, that touch yeah. was so crazy. When you are when you don't play a lot of Rocket League, it might look easy when you're kind of going away from the ball, but the fact that he got such a perfect touch, landed on the wall, followed up with the pass, Astro, incredible mechanics. And K Corp. And he came to play. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Gotta celebrate it. And, and it's like, what do you do if you're version one? You can keep taking advantage of the counterattacks, but they didn't get in in that previous game, at least none that they could capitalize on. I would really like to see them bring the ball down, slow the game down, kind of force K Corp into those bad challenges that they're very willing to take and find a way downfield. I, mean, I think it really is a almost a moot point if you try and take this one into the corners or up around the back walls. That, that's that's all that game three, or game four, excuse me, was. I mean, version one, no answers there. Through the middle of the pitch and moving it side to side is gonna be your only chance. Astral first to the ball again, Itachi. Ooh. Challenging beast mode. Beast mode again challenged by Nolly Comp. B1, not able to find a teammate, there's just doing everything they can to get the first touch on the ball or get a 50, hoping they can follow it up. Okay, Corp starting to smother them. You can see version one again. Here's another counterattack opportunity. Beast mode pushing one out of the way, but right back into the hands of K Corp. Here comes Nolly, and he does a connect on the flip reset. Itachi to Astral. Astral towards net. Torment oh. oh. can't save it. <laughs> the trigger right away and Astro will snipe it. Torment did his best, but it wasn't good enough. What is uh, that? <laughs> the brain's on this guy. <laughs> Who's thinking, yeah, I can still score that? <laughs> I mean, that's the second time he's come across it like that when it comes up the wall or off the wall, rather, and he's created a chance. That time just straight up scoring it, but he gave a pass earlier in a previous game where it just feels like he doesn't even have the angle to get it across like that. He's got such unorthodox approaches to the ball and can get the touches that you just don't expect another big play from Astral. Will we see it again off the ceiling? The 50 bouncing down. Comms on the backboard. Right idea. Take we'll, your time there. You if they're giving space. it to him. Yeah, you need the space. You need the possession. Make them come take the ball away from you because it's been tough to get back on offense so far. Another it's open, open net. And Tachi bouncing it in. And we have to see where version one was. There's the demo. 
two forward, and Com just goes straight off the yeah. ceiling. Unfortunately for him, the clear just doesn't go forward. With, uh, perhaps the ceiling pinch may have been what he wanted, but just ro rolls straight back down and doesn't buy enough time. And again, unrelenting pressure from K Corp, smothering version one, but not only that, pulling them so far out of their net that they, they have no one there. And now a quick shot, Nolly with the save. He got the crazy touch, now a save still. Oh. The best attack that we've seen from version one in quite some time, not able to put one away. We talked about version one having to prove it here at this stage of the tournament. They started off pretty good here, but they've got to adapt to K-Corp if they want to stay in this best of seven. K-Corp, they definitely have all the momentum. They have all the pressure. They really haven't felt it for version one. Torment. <laughs> oh, this is a really difficult situation, but he handled it well. Astral coming right at him. Torment jumping at the right time. But V1 has been stressed on defense. Nolly so quick up again. Itachi, the pass off the sidewall. Beast mode, a nice kick. But Torment way too far away on the play. Beast mode going for it again. Double tap will get the clear. That's good work for version one to at least get out, but they just never keep possession. Maybe a chance here for Torment. But again, you can see everyone for version one rotating out. They can't hold on to it. K Corp, such high quality touches to get themselves out of defense and then to move downfield so easily. Yeah, first touch control is really lacking there for version one. This is the right idea from Torment, but look how fast Nolly is. He says, you gotta be quicker than that. It needs to be in your hand and ready to go upfield before I'm there. K-Corp is really stretching the limits of all three members of version one's mechanical capability. They're stretching the limits of this game right now. Version one running out of time. Torment, the challenge off the sidewall. Torment has to get back. Itachi, flip Whoa. reset. Torment Whoa. back oh, in time, no. but it rebounds off beast mode. And that is disastrous for version one. Not how you draw it up of your version one to get out, and Astral just lingering in the version one box, taking advantage, and it's a 3-0 lead for K-Corp. Devastating. Get shut out in game four. You think, okay, maybe we can do something in game five, and you're starting to get shut out even worse. Can B1 bounce back at this point? I think they'll just take one for the road. Two go, and they uh -oh. don't score it now. A counterattack chance. Astral flinging it up, but Beast Mode back to the corner. And K Corp, another solid performance so far. Astral having a heck of a series so far as well. He's done a great job, not only as a shooter, but also as a passer. He's been such a nuisance on the version one side. And K Corp again. They've just been all over this version one side. You can see just with the challenges here, not letting them out, taking such high quality, high percentage challenges. And version one have used all their boost to try and get out here. The most they can muster up is down into the corner. And final moments ticking away. There's no chance for version one on this one. Shut out by Carmine Corp. And K Corp taking the lead in the series and now one game away from sending V1 into the lower bracket. It's a place V1's been before, and I know that they don't want to go there again. Their experience in LA perhaps haunting them at this moment. I've learned the answer for, for why K-Corp is so good. Half rotations and pre-jumps <laughs> and perfect first touches. That's, that's, that's the recipe for success right now against version one, and that's all been firing on all cylinders. No reverse gear. Version one just needing that little extra buffer time to absolutely line on, uh, get themselves in line, I should say. And version one, wisely so here, gonna take a timeout. Yep, an official timeout called by version one. And now's the time to do it. K Corp on a spree, especially those first touches from Astro, oh. whether he's taking the shot or whether he's setting up the pass, he has been lights out. And Itachi has been the cornerstone of this team, setting him up. And you talk about pre-jumps, how many of those have we seen <laughs> from Nolly? Well, again, they are so willing to go down the field to take the challenges high or low because they know it just throws off the rhythm for version one counter on their counter attack. That's been the special sauce here for K Corp. And I think this uh, version one timeout is much needed to just kind of regroup and reset the mental here because right now it's been what, three straight games? It just 
Yeah, sure. From K Corp, even when K Corp lost, it was yeah. still just straight up pressure from them. And it's a very intriguing question to try and answer because it, it's not like, you know, even if you just fix your first touch control for version one, that's not enough. Because the big X factor in this game appears to me and my eye to be speed. Because the lines they're taking are all pretty solid for both teams towards the challenges. It's not like they're just not reading the game well. Everyone's right. reading the game well. K-Corp is just going to things faster. And I don't know if you can just be like, yeah, we just go faster too. Because I, I think mechanically and in terms of reading capability, K-Corp is superior in that aspect. And it's it, not like you can just be like, yeah, just read the game better in a minute. Like, it's not going to work. Well, it, it's strange as well, because we've seen at times, though, where K-Corp will just give Com the space. They'll give V1 the space on the backboard. That, that play where Com was just sitting on his backboard, the ball was bouncing, taking all his time. K-Corp's giving him that time. But as soon as the play is made to try to hit that ball upfield, there is right someone at, at that midfield who is going to be blocking it from K-Corp. They are so quick. This is a tough and one heck of a Gordian knot to try and untangle if you're version one. You know it's doable, but K-Corp has definitely refined their approach as the series has gone on. Oh, oh, version oh. one hopefully found an answer for themselves. Well, version one happy to not see a shot come through there because K-Corp had the setup to put that one away. And here they come again. As again, just straight up into the pressure for K-Corp. Version one trying to keep that extra oh, life and open is. that potential. Is. No. But the shot is wide. Follow Follow-up is blocked. V1, that seemed to be their moment to finally get on the board. It doesn't get more open than that for version one. They got the counterattack look that they've been looking for for a game now, and they just couldn't put it on target. And right after calling a timeout, that has to be tough for the mental of V1. Nolly infield pass attempt. Oh, there we it's go. cut out. Is it Hard enough of a shot, it's oh wide. My. Astral there to clean up. Feels to me version one definitely sussing out something. They know where those <laughs> passes are going in the midfield. Twice now. <laughs> They're picking them off. They know where uh, K-Corp likes to move the ball, but is it enough? That's a demo. And yes. it's in, <laughs> another long shot. There was the demo, you called it out. But we're seeing shots come out from past midfield. And that's been the best look v ones has had in quite some time. And, and the backfield's been open on the K-Corp side, just version one haven't been able to get down there. And so they finally take the last man out and lob it over the man in the middle. And version one maybe have figured something out here against K-Corp. Even though those earlier shots didn't find their mark, you saw the gap in the armor. V1 finally hitting it, now a pinch back. Astral dribbling it to his own corner, snagging the corner boost. Now up off the ceiling, waiting for the 50. Com retreating back. First touch goes for the 50 himself. Was thinking about the mid boost, but goes for the infield pass. Torment oh, can't man. get there for the oh, double. Oh, and now it's Nolly. a counterattack oh. wide open net. <laughs> you saw it coming. One went all in. <laughs> they did. And, and look, it wasn't a bad look to go all in, but then. When you leave the backfield open, Nolly on a late challenge was just sitting down there. The ball lobbed downfield. It's an easy tap in for him, and we're tied up. K Court can see the finish line. It's tied, but man, you really feel like K Court has the edge. They definitely have home field advantage, that's for sure. <laughs> Calm. Happy to take more time, but Itachi will get the challenge back down to the corner. A little tap, torment. Oh, is there anyone space. back? It no. looks like a foot race. Wait a no, what? another wide open goal, but this time it's going to V1. Big collapse for V1. Astral and Itachi both dive at the same uh, ball, and that's Astral thinking, yeah, I can get there first, but again, it's one of those challenges for K Corp where you're yeah. like, probably not the best idea, and it cost him. So that time it came back to bite him. Again, they're riding on a very thin line, and now more and more version one are poking through K Corp, but maybe Itachi, oh. can he put something on target? He flicked it over, oh. it's into the corner. <laughs> puts it away, and we're tied up. How much boost did Itachi have? Oh. Has to jump over Seven. the bump. Doesn't use his flip, lands right next to the ball. Such composure from Itachi. And Torment with so much respect there, he yeah. saw the, the quick landing coming in for K-Corp and decided to try and defend the net. So when he doesn't actually skim into the ball, he's just hung out to dry with the touch all the way across. I mean, 
Thorman's got a great head on his shoulders, but that's a huge cross-up that you just can't handle. K-Corp get it back. Rock solid play from Itachi. Now a challenge. Less than half the game left to play. Right now, we're poised for overtime. Com first touch control. Base. Air dribble, 50 off to the side. And we've been seeing that a lot, the air dribble 50, especially from oh, Com. No. And the shot from Astral. Oh, there's that demo. Happy to take it. Got the corner boost steal as well. Great bob from Itachi there just to stop version one getting any control there. That was an opportunity for him. Now Nolly lets it go. Itachi to the right side. It's too wide. And version one scrambling to get a hold of it here. It's still in K Corp's possession. That time lobbed over the version one net. So much space given to K Corp. Astral able to pop it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Going for the flick. Torment denying the upper 90. Another shot. It's a double commit. Torment. Getting to the ball just in time. Torment's defensive chops on display. Oh, man. And again, kind of parking himself on that goal line, making sure nothing is going to go through him. And if it does, you better earn it. K-Corp turned away this time. We still sit tied just over a minute left in game six. You can feel the difference in pressure of attack for both teams. You see version one here kind of pushing onto this blue half, and it's like, okay, but you don't see multiple people diving at everything. and. K-Corp shove onto this orange side, and it's all hands on deck in the version one net. Some scary pushes. Lots of boost for Beast Mode. We haven't had uh, said his name much. Will we say it late in game six? Doesn't look like it. Ran out of boost, had to retreat. And, and Calm turned off that challenge there. I think he wanted something different. K-Corp said, thank you very much. We'll take it out of our corner. A big clear here for version one, but straight into the hands of Astral. Calm off the ceiling, we'll get a touch. Beast Mode, can he get two? Oh. It's a save from Astral on the goal line and back to the version one side. And that was on target, Beast Mode. Coming within inches, but K-Corp stand tall. V1, still on the attack, infield pass, the demo! That trail was blue on the shot. He ran into him. Dormant got a piece of it. And that's just great work. But I think he just ran right into oh, Itachi, Itachi, got in front. Tried his best, but oh. not enough. Had to dive at it, saw the physicality coming, and version one, squeak one through with 12. Can K-Corp have another kickoff miracle? Well, it gets by one defender, Nolly, tapping it around Torment. Bouncing back. Gotta oh. keep it up. Itachi Ooh. can't get there in V1, a crazy <laughs> ending. <laughs> that demo. Ended up being a shot on their own net. What a wild game that was. We saw oh. some long range goals, some own goals that you don't expect. This one was crazy. And B1, you could tell after the timeout, they changed up their game plan. Definitely a few changes to make for version, for version one. And it, it really came to bear at the start of that game because yeah, okay, we understand how you're trying to cross the ball in the middle, set up shot attempts, and they're on that. But after that point, all that planning and preparation kind of goes out the window when it's 2-2, and K-Corp going to take no time out here, go straight into game seven. They know that their game plan right now is solid enough. They don't have to change anything. They say, hey, that one got away. That's OK. First best of seven on stream, and we go the distance. The crowd, definitely the home field advantage for K-Corp. And for them, one more game to move on in this upper semifinal, and boy, oh. has it been a battle. <laughs> I'm surprised version one pulled that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that game was an anomaly. It was an anomaly. We saw some mistakes on both sides. <laughs> they don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I believe that's one of those plastic uh, fans that yeah. perhaps that looked like a brand new V1 t-shirt. But here we go. Game seven, Champions Field. One team will lose their extra life the other will be moving on to the upper bracket final. Version one definitely had more success in the last game. Poking through that K-Corp side, finding them over the top as well. K-Corp want to go back to that pressure game, suffocate version one on their own side till they finally crack. Beast mode, leaving that for Torment. Torment. Going for the air dribble, trying to oh, burst missed. time. Oh, wow. What just happened? <laughs> what? Torment. Astral. Oh, my. 
He's just trying to figure this one out, and Torment just doesn't make contact with the ball. Astral, under the pressure of the demo, trying to figure out where his line can go with a touch and a demo coming at him, and Torment says, I think I could just let this fall and score it for free. And that's a painful one to give up in a Game 7. Version 1, now looking to hold on to this lead and maybe build upon it here. That's another missed touch. Nolly lets it go, and an Astral there to pick it up and bail out his team. Beast mode, getting up early to break up that play. Calm, full boost to work with. Bates in Itachi, Astral also jumps. Yep. But Beast mode takes his time. That'll allow Carmine Corp to get back on defense. You could even see Nolly hesitating in the midfield, thinking, should I go, or is Astral just going to cut rotation again? They know, get out of the way if he's coming. More often than not, it's the right play, but definitely feel a little hesitation here with K Corp. 3.45 on the clock and down early. Question marks. And you question marks. You saw that miss again yeah. from Itachi at the midfield, where K Corp was so good at finding each other on the breakout. Losing a bit of that polish. Itachi back to Astral, but beast mode there with speed. Nolly off the corner. Calm uh -oh. will blast it upfield. Itachi right down to Torment. Torment, oh, a light touchdown. Goes for the shot to go again. Beast Mode can't get there in time. Itachi bailing out K Corp. If Beast Mode could have got that back to the middle, that would have been bad news. And version one surely seeing the same stuff we are. A lot of double commits coming out from K Corp. A lot of whiffs as well. Version one waiting to take advantage. The demo Whoa. comes through. It trickles towards the goal line, but it went, went, it went wide. Oh, so close for me. One four bumps. It is getting gruesome out there on Champions Field. And you really feel like that stability from Torment and version one starting to come in. Clutch here. Game seven, Carmen Corp felt confident. You get the cage rattled at the start. And all of a sudden, the cracks start to appear. The confidence is shaken. You have to find an answer. Get yourself back on the even footing. And there's Astral to do it. Redemption for Astral. The first goal was a mistake from him, but he comes out huge here with two and a half minutes left to play, placing it to the left side in version one. There was too much space from their corner, and he took advantage. And Itachi getting physical in his own half, taking that ball downfield. Getting that challenge to pop out as well. Astral has been deadly. And now the leave, Itachi and Nolly with good communication. But Itachi was demoed after taking the shot. A lot of time left on the clock. Oh, Another huge. Demo comes out. Is it open? That one's wide open. There's nobody back. The respawn comes in, but it's too late. And Beast Mode back into the lead for version one. Oh, Itachi went for the infield pass, but the yep. demo completely put it. A stick in the spokes of that play. V1, another long range goal. And the demo's finally starting to pay off for V1 as well. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh. Wow. oh. Still, Still dangerous. There. The drop what? down, the touch from Nolly. And now Calm with the 50. Nolly, a smart touch to keep it away from version one, but still K Corp. Not able to finish the play. Oh, he can't. He doesn't have the line. Oh, frustrating couple of sequences for K Corp. And that's one that you feel like K Corp could have scored on. Version one, they were not organized on defense there. Throwing players at the ball, but so was K Corp. And you can start to feel the desperation, even though it's a one goal difference. Just under a minute and a half to go. Astral, high pop out. Beast mode, first to it by a mile. Nolly back down to Itachi. Itachi oh. sets up Astral, but Astral, he jumped, wasn't on the right trajectory, had to bail out. That is precious time and boost wasted. Another chance. Passing play. Beast mode sniffed it out. Torment safely to the corner, uh -oh. but Astral that's there. Two. Going for the infield pass. Call breaks up the play. And that's version one, really understanding how Carmen Corp likes to move the ball across. They've seen it for six games now, all the way in front of it. And time is of the essence for K Corp, who has honestly been so Tachi! good. Same spot, roll it back. <laughs> oh, talk about kick, getting kicked in the shin in the same exact spot. That one has to hurt Itachi playing <laughs> oh, cherry man. picker. Torment 
trying to get there in time, but Itachi had the play figured out. Just slipped in between the version one defenders there. 39 seconds to go. K Corp trying to make a late surge here in game seven. Astral so quickly jumping off the sidewall. Nolly. And now two go okay, off the it. ceiling. Astral with the challenge, that second effort preventing the counterattack. Now a quick shot. That one going to be blocked by Torment. So threatening here from K Corp in version one. It's looking very similar to those losses just a couple games ago where K Corp shot after shot. 10 seconds left. Version one trying to get out. Astral being harassed. Clear out. Nolly decides to keep the play open. Beast mode towards net. Beast mode. Oh! in oh my days you didn't think at any point that was actually in the net what oh a stunner oh it he can't it. what comes has come <laughs> on where are you at where's the defense where did they go oh, my oh man boy has he turned into a villain here at the copper box oh, <laughs> my. and they let him have it but it's version one on top in game seven a massive challenge, and oh, one that K Corp no. wanted to take. They kept the ball up. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. They, no, was it Nolly? We got to see that again. There was a decision to keep that ball in yeah. play. I can't I don't even believe think. it. I am shocked that we are not in overtime right now. A zero second goal, beast mode. He was relatively quiet. He started off the series with that double tap. Oh, wow. And then quiet, but talk about a sandwich. The beast mode sandwich, I guess that's his special. And he <laughs> delivers. I just want to see this pack, bring uh, it back. Uh, I, I do, I want. I need to see it one more time because for version one, I don't think anyone really expected to go in, but I saw beast mode jump up before he went into it. That's, and he just straight up won the challenge. Oh, and it, <laughs> it slides in just <laughs> past oh, the post. I mean, you were thinking, you were thinking maybe Maybe there's a chance Someone's that back someone could get a shot on that. down like never in a million years <laughs> that I think that was actually in the goal. Oh, uh, you can see the V1 shirts <laughs> coming out in force. <laughs> Unreal. That was such a crazy, crazy series. And we've got an interview down on the main stage. It's Orb, and I believe he's with Cup. All right, London, please make some noise for your winner, version one. Tom, listen, you clearly have a lot of fans in the building. What do you got to say to them? Thank you guys for the support. It means the world. Um, I really appreciate it. How do you get affected by the booing? Does it inspire you to keep going? I mean, honestly, I could barely hear it when I was on there. I don't think they're quite loud enough, to be honest. You got to be loud in London. You heard it here first. All right, listen, this was a game that went the distance. Talk me through those last moments before the win. Yeah, I mean, going into game six, we knew we weren't playing how we wanted to. Called a timeout, talked some things out, figured out what we needed to do, and then from there, it was a pretty routine dub. All right, do you have anything to say to the fans at home before we send it to break? Um, once again, thank you guys for all the support back home. Uh, means a lot. Hope it's just as supportive as it is here. All right, listen, I would love to keep talking, but we got to keep the show going. We got a big series coming up. We got SSG versus Falcons, uh, upper bracket semifinals. But first, a little break. <laughs>